everyone, and welcome to Pam Time. That's an inspirational and educational show featuring the performing arts. I'm Pam Murphy, your host of Pam Time, which is music, dance, drama, art, but most of all, of course, it is fun. So watch tonight's episode filled with some fantastic performers coming your way. Come celebrate the arts with Pam Time. <laughs> tonight's Pam Time Performer Spotlight. Let's give a look. Enjoy. Come celebrate the arts with Pam Time. Ladies and gentlemen, madames et monsieurs, all cell phones off, all cellophane secure. Finish your texting now, not during my scene. I'm in some theater, but like, where's the screen? No eating, please? You think you're incognito? Yes, you lady with the bean burrito. Put it away, I have a crucial message. And this guy looks worried. Whoa, what does this presage? I paid my 15 bucks, sprang for a cab, had the 20 plus the dinner tab, had the chug a lug of that nice Bordeaux, thought I'd be in better sleep by now, but no, some bird comes on at, what's it, 608, probably to say, sorry, we're running slightly late. <laughs> well, have no fear, and reduce the strain. With your iPods, please, turn off your brain. Leave complications to this evening's hero, a lying genius, if moral zero. And no, my announcement may be worse. Tonight, our actors will be speaking verse. In case you haven't noticed that small fact, we'll be speaking pentameter to be exact. And what the blanks pentameter you say? It's what I'm speaking now. On with the play. The Paris Gardens, La Tuileries, fine spring day, 1643. Servant! Servant for hire! Servant! On guard! Ah! All right, you did. Come, stand and fight! Jesus, sorry, I almost sold my tights. First, second, third, fourth, parry, lunge, ballet! Am I in first? That's fourth, sir, in ballet. I like your honesty. That's all I've got. You need a man? Come on, take a shot. I don't eat much. Check my diameter. I cook, I clean. I speak pentameter. Well, ponder it upon the Alize. Uh, chums, Alize lies that away. Unless the Louvre has moved since yesterday. <laughs> You are new in town. Two hours. No! Yes, Poitiers, that's where I come from. Well, near Poitiers, I mean, a lovely spot. The exposition scene. I studied law there, but I got so bored I clamored for a scabbard and a sword. At last, my mother reluctantly agreed, and we converged to Paris with all speed. She to procure me some prosaic wife, I to pursue the soldier's life. But. Be gone, dull briefs, you legal pillory for. Here I stand within the Twillery, where ladies buzz and fancy dandies dart, and high society comes by the cart. It's a Parisian patina, air like ice. My dreams have not deceived me, it's paradise. <coughs> but, tell me, Frank, do I look the part? Does this display say military ace? <laughs> More like 
Well, where'd you get the lace? <laughs> One wants a character, a style, a code, an up-to-date persona to move. I'll tell you what you need. A personal guide. One part valet, one part pesticide. <laughs> the key to living here with proper flash, the same as every place. Um. Cash. Watch how you employ it. Meanwhile, enjoy it. But hey, you're young, you're free, so have no fear. Stupider guys than you have made it here. You're very blunt. I thought you saw the place. You think I'm gabbing here to please your grace? You ask my opinion. Well, what's the matter? It's not a minion's job to fawn and flatter. Why don't I truckle? I'll tell you why. By one tragic flaw, I cannot tell a lie. Come on, test me, put me into rest. Ask me if I've ever stolen. Have you? Yes! <laughs> the same thing 50 times has come to pass. My boss asks me the truth, then fires my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you chuckle. Not at all. Well, you inquired. You could be just the man I need. You're hired. Drop. But tell Well, how about a petty cash advance? Uh, I just left my money in my other pants. No problem. Your monk's as trusty as a map of France. Truth is, he's lying. But I don't know it yet. You'll ever find out? You wanna bet? So what's your first wish amongst the joys of Hades? Mm -hmm. Tell me about your celebrated babies. Do they succumb? Or are they hard to please? You just arrived in town, you already want to squeeze. I wouldn't find one. Where could I find one? It's only 9 a.m. Boy, you work fast. I gather you've had women in your past. Well, I've had adventures with the tender sex. Oh, there was my time with, well, let's say, Princess X. That night it comes with a cockatoo. Oh, but you don't want to hear it. Oh, but I do. <laughs> just <laughs> stay away from this town's out of bends, or else you'll burn your candle at both ends. What you need is a social light with spice. A bestial virgin, not a verse device. Soft. Who are these things? They're not my class. These two are sterling. I can with brass. <laughs> Watch out there, mademoiselle! The pavement's dipped! <sighs> what luck! I caught your hand in mine, or else you would have tripped. No, 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 no! Don't let go. Your stumble was a sign. Oh, sovereign joy to hold your hand in mine. However, sweet to your manual sensation, this hand's not meant a sword for your palpitation. This prize is won yet and more happily merited if I won this prize with my own merit. But, sir, a favored one is merely to be bought, as happiness is happiest unsought. Yet effort may enhance the unforeseen. To prove the point, let effort intervene. Ahem. Your mute friend disagrees. <laughs> or does she scoff? Oh, she means nothing, sir. Ahem. The whooping cough. <laughs> just lend me this rich now. But let me touch your heart, not just your palm. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Where is she? Could be seen. Oh, peace, Lucrece. Be seen by whom? I'll see. I'll see to sleep. Why so dubious? Clarice, your fiancé's Vesuvius. So let him spew. My lover's lava is nothing new. Two years now we've been secretly engaged, and he's the one who's chronically enraged. <sighs> oh, very well. Oh, shattered, tortured soul! Oh, break my heart! Endure these weeks of fire to see us part? These weeks, you say? I must have missed a spark. Of your existence, I've been in the dark. You mean, you haven't seen me haunt your door since our return from fighting in the war? The war? The war? Six months ago! Six months? Artillery captain on the German front! <laughs> Shaw! Spilling crimson streams, I fought the Hun at Luberwurst and Heisen Frankfurter! And so on. Four years of heaven. But France and the king required me. That's how I got this scar along my jaw. What scar? Shut up. I thought you studied law. You may have heard my name in the Gazette. I caused not some buzz that buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> that little dust up north of Waterloo. But you don't want it. Oh, yes, I do. The wounds are healing, the pains are bathing. My sure. <laughs> Do you realize you're hallucinating? But then, while here last year on winter leave, by chance I glimpsed the corner of your sleeve, passing by on the bunk nymph. Oh, it was a nymph, that innocent lace cuff. I gave up arms. Fear enough. Is this a dream? <laughs> yes, I who coolly spilt those crimson streams. Now what? 
Forgive me, goddess, if I am fervent. For six long months, I have dreamt to be... Madam, I'll see. Your servant. I'll see. I'll see? He's on the way. Perhaps when again, Monsieur. Good day. Oh, you go so soon, my treasure, just like that? I have no leisure for a longer chat. Let go, Monsieur. You've come your conversation. Oh, but give me leave. For what? Oh, for adoration, to love you, worship you, please. I implore. True lovers ask no leave. They just adore. Go. Fetch the maid. The maid has come. Find out her name. The maid. The, the mistress, fool. A word, madam. My name is Isabel. I'm 28. OK, 29. I'm single, straight, Catholic, but please love it from here. I like Italian food and English beer, long walks, something else. Should I with you? Uh, here's my dress in the my room. Tell the truth. What's this? Nothing simple. Me? Oh, that's time. Bought <laughs> your ladies' info. Name, address, any old fact, your personal data. What's this? Tat? I'm not attractive? Not a perfect tat? <laughs> Maybe an eight? <gasps> oh. That tragic flaw again. <laughs> <laughs> My lady's name is Caprice. She's filthy rich. Primo, but so there's no glitch. For the two that were just here, your lady is which? The greater beauty? Yeah. Terrific, but specifically. Okay then, you're lost. Wait, wait, wait! Your address, your boss? She and her friend, her neighbors in the claws. The claws. Is that some type of clue? The claws royale. Isabel! Sorry, Paul. Maybe next time. At you. Well. The greater beauty of the two is named Lucrece. I leave that choice to you. Well, there's no contest there. It must be my enchanter, the cutie who subdued me with her banter. For beauty, she's the one who won the fleece. I can feel it in my sternum. She's Lucrece. No disrespect to my master's magic throat, but the shy one with the cough would get my vote. <laughs> that sphinx, that statue with the Delphic stare, that nun, that box, <laughs> the prettier of the pair. Your chatterbox, maybe Felice, Bernie's, for Pultritude, the quiet one's named Lucrece. Quiet? She's catatonic, she's amnesia. Oh, the Venus whom I fell for, mm. she's Lucretia. If you ask me, the tone, not one more peep. Ah! Oh, but who's this here? Oh, my ancient friend Elsie. Ah! Looks like your friends in quite a state. I saw Clarice, she just went through the gate. I'll see if your boy control, why so erase? Because last night my servant very late observed she would slip out her own back door and jump into a waiting coach. What's more, she wore her diamond gown, her ermine coat. He followed to the river where a boat awaited, fixed with music, food, defend, and we get my hands on him a man! Oh Lord, it was another girl disguised. He saw her float away with his own eyes. Find that swine and make him bleed! I'll see. Oh, Durant, just the friend I need. <laughs> you know, police, the Beaumont's favorite beau? Oh, the one they call the Baron Comel Beau? Well, yes, we met each other in Poitiers. Miss Yara, Paris, and Paris, pleasure here. You two seem deep in dish. Don't start, he's bitter. Oh, what's this, some juicy gossip? What's the Twitter? A lady serenaded by some fresh gallant. Last night? That's right. I tell you, stop, Tron. No, no, let me guess. This amorous escapade involved a midnight picnic with the Jade. How did you know that? And a boat rode down the Seine to clinch their joy, a lover's jaunt. Why do you smile? Not you! Twas I, Durant! <laughs> Why do you frown? Yes, but you just got into town. Oh. I've been here a year. A year? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Since you're my friend, I'll see. I'll tell you all. Monsieur, where are you right now? Postpone! <laughs> the barge we lay in like a burnished throne burned on the water. Soft music stoked our fire, two boats before us with cathedral choir, and two behind us with woodwinds, strings, and brass. I thought that Harry Moore would be too crass. <laughs> We two reclined, meanwhile, and sucked on moist figs within a baldachin of willow twigs and laced with jasmine, while, like circling planets, five blindfold virgins served us, mmm, pomegranates. <laughs>
As for the dinner courses, oh no, no, you'd be appalled. There were fifteen. The list would render you inert, but then, my lady offered as dessert whipped cream licked from her navel's humid valley. <laughs> we danced and fondled till the jasmine drooped, and jealous sun dispersed our happy troop. We parted the call to chant to clear when mere reality deposited me here. So you're the one. Great so. The seducer. Oh, you love the wench. Sometime I'll introduce her. Uh, that piece will cost the substance of the king. Oh, at the least I had an hour to plan the thing. A uh, small flotilla, yes, but worth the prices. The ladies melted faster than the cherry ices. <laughs> How could you be in town a full year's lease and not know my connection to Clarice? Alice, you control yourself. It's all a lie. Don't come between us or you also die. You! Why? I never would I but goodbye. <laughs> Someday, Madame Clarice? Next month, next year. Why, 
You can exempt him today, right here, beneath your window, when the clock strikes three. I'll draw him to your street, and you shall see the boy. What is that, Stern? To your content. I have no doubt I'll give you a quick consent. Durant is my only son, and what a prize. I'll see him first. Then let's rhapsodize. Till three, then. He's reliable, faithful, steady. Fear not, madame. I love the man already. Observe. Observe. You may go home now. Party clown? 
explain? What for? Your uncle might come down! I swear! Yes, next time you decide to cheat, why don't you choose a lover more discreet? A lover? Oh yes, he's told me everything. If you won't destroy the chorus of the scene or worry about your jaunt. And who's this lover, please? Durant! Durant? That's good, that's very credible. Durant. Oh! You found him bettable enough last night. I've never met the man. Then why'd I see the mother of his clan leaving your house just now with my own eyes? My uncle's an old friend of hers. Oh, lies, lies. He is. Is this a stage? Are these just props? <laughs> Perhaps to run through nighttime and days for pop. I'll see if I've never even seen his face. Was it too dim inside your dressing place? Inside your baldekin? You had a date. A thousand Roman candles shooting through space, spilling their loads of luminescent spume, their artificial sun, vanishing gloom. And yet, you somehow never glimpsed his face. Well, if I did, I think that I'd remember. You think I could make this up? No, no. It's fine. Go. Run off with your Durant. Forget all about our The man who loved you once. I might. Now, will you hear me out, you dunce? I spent last night right here on my rear end. Do you raise your voice, your uncle might descend. If he's even up there. If he even exists at all. Hello, is anybody... Hey, everybody, it's Pam Murphy, and you've been watching Pam Time. So thanks for tuning in. Come back again next week as we present to you some more outstanding performances featuring the performing arts. So hey, tap into the performing arts in your local community. You'll be surprised what you can find. So goodbye and good night.